Crowfall is an upcoming sandbox PvP MMORPG that's recently gone into open beta. I covered this game earlier in the year, but quite frankly that video wasn't very good and is now completely outdated, so I've unlisted it. Crowfall is a buy-to-play MMO that started its journey on Kickstarter back in 2015, initially raising $1.7 million and going on to raise a total of $38 million according to their website as of making this video. Crowfall describes itself as a throne war simulator MMO where players can join campaigns and factions that eventually end and have an end state with winners and losers. The game uses an action combat system and is heavily focused around PvP and crafting without the long leveling grind that most MMOs have you go through. But before we jump into it, a quick word from today's sponsor. Eve Echoes is a brand new next-gen mobile sandbox space MMO that's been developed as a joint effort between CCP Games and NetEase Games. Eve Echoes officially launches on August 13th, 2020 and hopes to bring that classic EVE Online experience to mobile where players can immerse themselves in a massive universe that features over 8,000 solar systems, 100 different types of ships, 4 different empires and a world where player choice is everything. Eve Echoes has been designed to be new player friendly and it's very easy to get started, with multiple tutorials teaching you the core systems of the game such as joining corporations, engaging in space combat, mining resources, manufacturing, piloting, skyboxes and ship designing. Like all good sandbox games, everything in Eve Echoes is crafted and traded by other players in the game's player driven economy, and as you'd expect Eve Echoes also features the massive PvP fleet warfare that Eve Online was known for, with epic battles supporting over a hundred players who have formed their own corporations, fighting for territorial, political and economic control over the various different sectors of space. So if you're looking for a next gen space sandbox MMO with high quality visuals and sound effects, then download Eve Echoes via my link in the description below and let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments. See you in Eve Echoes. So three different modes, you've got Eternal Kingdoms in which you build your own kingdom, you've got God's Reach where the new players start out, this is where you do mostly PvE and get a feel for your character, and then you've got Campaign Mode which becomes accessible at level 15. Let's jump in with some God's Reach. 12 different races, the Centaur, the Elken, Fey, Gwynesian, Half Elf, Half Giant, High Elf, Human, Minotaur, Nathari, Stoneborn, and the Wood Elf. 11 different classes, the Assassin, the Champion, the Cleric, Confessor, Druid, Duelist, Frostweaver, Knight, Mimrodon, Ranger, and Templar. I'm going to play as a Confessor. As you can see, not too many options when it comes to the character customization. I guess that'll do. Choice between four different God's Reach servers. As you can see, though, not too many players online. So we've got a little rat thing talking to us. Straight away, this is a different intro experience to what I've tried before so it seems as though they've actually designed a new player experience this time talk to the sentinel of earth that's a pretty cool looking monster five different attributes intellect strength dexterity spirit and constitution no i was hoping the game would have fixed this this is something i complained about the last time i played crowfall watch what happens whenever you interact with a ui element the game bloody freezes and you can't open your inventory whilst moving. Look at that. Every time I've ever covered this game, I've mentioned this issue. Maybe it's just something that's hard coded into the game and can't be fixed. Seems like a pretty fundamental issue to me. When I click the settings menu, the game freezes for a solid three seconds. Got a quest, kill five wolves. Let's use an ability, my number one, and then I can press it again. I can dodge with my right click. Number three, target the mob, F to loot, right click to put the loot in your inventory. The combat feels better than the last time I played it. I mean, it's not hard for that to be the case though, admittedly. Level three, the game also has some music this time around, which definitely helps. Going over to this caravan, need to talk to this NPC. This is gonna teach me about personal crafting. We're pushing this massive tree down. We must have some real strength in us. Craft ourselves a basic harvesting axe. I wonder if I chop these trees faster now I've got an axe. Yes, I certainly do. Extravagant way of cutting the tree. Doing a little spin. Make myself a hammer, a knife, 
and a harvesting pick. Level four. Now I've got a quest to kill an elk and then skin it. Skin the elk. Slice him up. Thank you for your sacrifice, Mr. Elk. Sacrifice hide. Sacrificing the hide gives me XP. Level five. Oh god, I've been recognized. It's daytime now, so the game does have an active day-night cycle, which is nice. Got some kind of village area here. Rat person walking around. Use your recall power and return to the temple. And we float off into the sky. And we're back at the temple. So this is already a much better start to the game than the last time I played it. I'm happy to see that. Hopefully as I unlock some more abilities, I get to see a bit more of the potential with the combat. I like that I can move whilst casting all of my abilities. I appreciate that. At least it's not rooting me in place. Do you take full damage in this game? Guess we'll find out. A little bit, not too much. Hello? Okay, elemental minion, whatever you say. I guess we're going to learn about banking now. This bank looks really out of place on the UI. Is this really the bank? Level 7. Wait, are we going to get a horse? Pack pig mount figurine. Equipping the figurine gave me a new power. Nice. Oh, okay, so I don't actually equip a mount. It just makes me run really fast. Is that really supposed to be the case? Is this a bug? I guess the spirit of the mount is inside of me. When I'm in mount mode, I can't actually jump, though, which could be awkward. So now I'm going to be grinding these mobs for a bit. Level 7s. Big damage. Dodge. And it's dead. New ability, Condemnation. Country seems pretty cool in this game. Level 8. So let's test my new abilities. I've got my number 2, which puts a meteor. I've got my number 3, which I hold down, and it's like an AoE flamethrower. That seems good. Combat's getting a little bit better. Seek out the Sentinel of the Sun. Wants me to go through one of these. And now we're at the Sun Temple. Level 9. Flames everywhere. The wall's been knocked down. Seems like this area's been sieged. Combat's not too bad. It's not the worst combat I've seen. So now we're approaching some kind of town by the looks of it. Bunch of training dummies. Not too many NPCs though. It feels a bit lifeless. Level 10. Um, hello. Are these things breeding? Bad animal. There's more of them. Just standing in awkward locations. Jumping spider. Ooh. I mean, walking spiders are bad enough, let alone jumping spiders. Why is it running away? Oh, God, that's so fucking terrifying when it jumps on you. I don't like that. Save me. Oh, God, I'm actually dead. So what happens when you fuck with jumping spiders, I guess? So now I've died, I've turned into a crow. Not really too sure what the point of... Flying your soul to the temple to respawn is. I hope you don't have to do that in PvP. Seems like a real pain in the ass. Tame these creatures for a caravan. Level 11. These jumping spiders are attacking my bloody caravan. They just keep spawning before I can kill them all. Burn it with fire. That's all you really can do with spiders. Unload caravan. Level 12. Now the game wants me to do something with barracks rank 2. Click on the sign. Drag the boulder over here. Build. So we've started building a barracks. I'm going to sell some stuff and then buy some armor. With that I can buy a hat and some boots. The boots do visually appear on my character and the hat looks like this. Harvest this giant rock. Level 13. Gonna grind some mobs, unlock some money, and get some more gear. Okay, this thing's just letting me attack him. Nice AI. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die. Q. Man, that Q ability is bloody useful. Mob AI definitely needs some work. Level 14. I think these resources with the gold glows around them might be rare. What, this uses stamina? Man, that's annoying. What's the point of having a stamina system just for gathering? Okay, so if I aim here whilst gathering, it kind of crits the rock. That's kind of cool. Slowly starting to learn which gatherables have value. Level 15. I don't know why I'm just on a gathering session right now. Sacrifice items to increase the strength of the settlement. So I guess it wants me to sacrifice this iron ingot or something. Level 16. And I think that's the end of the tutorial. I really think the world map in Crowfall is completely useless. There's just no useful information here. I'm in a town right now and this is what it looks like. Zero help to navigation and it doesn't even show the crafting stations that are in the town on the map. Promotes you to the fanatic promotion class. Nice. So I've got a new ability, Hellfire. Fire wave. Hellfire Blast. Okay. I'm a lot more tanky now. Hellfire Blast. Stunned. Stun him again. 
Nice. The combat's starting to get a little bit more interesting. These mobs here are just stuck in the floor, bugged out. Dude, there's like 10 people on this server. There's two of us here and there's not enough mobs to grind. Why is that the case? Why is this one on the roof? Come down from there. Man, grinding in a group of two is super efficient. Level 17. Oh, wow. Fire tornado is cool. I like that ability. Oh, my God. He just jumped to Zimbabwe. Is that a bug? Or did he just tactically jump out of my nuke? He reset himself. So with that grind complete, I can finally buy myself a chest piece and some gloves. Does this change my character's appearance much? Yes, it does. It's a full set of robes. That looks pretty cool. So if you don't want to go out and gather in Crowfall, you can just buy all of the resources in town. So with that, you've got two choices of progression. You can just make money, then progress crafting from just buying everything. Or you can save money by gathering stuff yourself. So now it's going to teach me about rune stones. The NPC just gave me a thousand gold to purchase a major discipline. These disciplines give you various different abilities, which seems as though they can be used across different classes. Like this one, I can get a chain heal if I wanted. When it comes to making a build in Crowfall, these major disciplines are going to play a big part in that. I think I'm going to become a force mage. But if you want to, you can get other major disciplines, which actually increase your crafting skills. So if you don't want to do combat, you can really specialise in being a crafter in this game. You've reached the end of chapter 2 of the new player experience. The third and final chapter will be added soon. Through the next portal, level 19 to 24. I think they need to populate the world with more mobs. There's nothing moving, is there? The world does feel extremely lifeless. Been invited to join a group. Level 19. Destroying these mobs. Grinding BDO style now. Definitely feels a lot better having a group. Okay, we've got some spider queens, have we? They're just big. Doesn't mean they're strong. Ouch. Oh, I take it back. Where's my team? Hello? Oh, God, one of us died. Okay, I'm going invisible. I'm out of there. Level 20. The game should just have some kind of AoE loot or something. The looting in this game is a real pain in the ass. Having to manually click on every single thing and then... Use your mouse to click on things to loot it. It feels really outdated. Now I can finally unlock my major discipline slot. So now I've got a full tray of abilities. Have we got our revenge? We have our revenge. Level 21. Oh god, he started attacking more bloody spider queens. Oh my god, it's just regen health? Okay, we need to get out of there. Get out. My friends died. So today the plan's to grind to level 30 and then join the PvP servers. Level 22. It seems like harder mobs spawn at night time. Okay, this one's fucking tanky. This one seems like some kind of elite. It's jumping everywhere. I actually have to run because I just don't have the mana to fight it. 23. Level 24. Big upgrade here. We are absolutely rolling over this content. I'm getting a level like... Every five or ten minutes now. So I'm going to be level 30 in no time. Oh god, we've pulled everything. Let's go. Oh. Massive damage. Level 26. The combat's definitely getting a lot more fun as I'm leveling up. It's still very floaty and it needs a lot of work. But I like the general direction of the combat. I like the combos. Definitely not the worst combat I've seen in an MMO. Can unlock the final talent on my tree, Fnatic. Okay, now my inventory is just completely full. Level 27. Okay, I'm actually getting zero XP for killing some of these mobs now. So I guess it's time to leave town. How do I leave party? Even looking at the hotkeys, I can't figure out how to leave group. For me, Crowfall's biggest issue by far is its user interface. It is one of the worst I think I've ever seen. It just needs a complete redesign. It's just not intuitive in the slightest. Now we go through the final gateway, level 25 to 30. Where the fuck do I go to sacrifice things? If the game had a decent map, I would know. The map is shit. The shittest map I've ever seen in an MMO, ever. Just easily, flat out, 100%. Don't even need to think about it. Who looks at that and says... Yeah, I know where I'm going, and every single time it, you have, it loads, it doesn't even instantly load. You have to wait like three seconds every time when opening the map, so you can't even quickly glance at it. Right, so now I've got a lot of stuff to sacrifice. Nine chisels. That gives me an entire level. Okay. 
Sacrifice this stuff, that's level 29. Now I have 5,536 gold, I think that's a lot. Into the final leveling zone, let's slaughter some of these guys. Okay, we've finally got some different mob types to fight this time. Giving me 100 XP each, shouldn't be too long until level 30. I guess one thing I do really like about Crowfall is it's not a super grindy MMO. It's kind of refreshing that you can get to level 30 super quickly. Maybe it's grindy at level 30, I don't know. But getting to max level, not too grindy. There's just no mobs in some of these grind spots. There's two of us here, and two of us being here has exhausted all of the mobs. There it is, level 30, max level. And now we can go jump into some PvP. Finished God's Reach, now let's go check out campaign where the action happens. There's only one campaign and there's 24 people online. Upon joining a campaign, you select your faction. Three choices, the sun, the moon, or the earth. Let's go with the earth. There's a thing here that says embargo imports. I don't really know what it means by that, but. So I've spawned at the earth temple. Two choices of places to go here. Is this map bigger? Okay, this map seems a little bit bigger. It's not huge or anything though. So there's various forts and outposts that have been captured by different factions. Once again, just looking at the map, it's very difficult to understand and decipher any of the information that's displayed. I'll head to this World Bank area and see if I can see any other players. I doubt it though, considering there's only 24 people on the entire server. Not really seeing any other players right now and it's not immediately obvious how I can contribute to my faction on this map. I don't know what to do, I've been playing this game thinking that, okay, if I get to level 30, I can jump into some PvP action. Not really too sure what else there is for me to show in this video, considering there's no players to PvP with, but at the very least, I'm happy to see Crowfall make some progress, and the game is in a much better state than it was the last time I covered it. So, slowly but surely getting there, it seems. So after playing the Crowfall beta for a few hours, my thoughts on the game are as follows. The fundamentals of the combat system seem decent, and I like the combo system with the multiple combo choices attached to certain abilities. I thought the sense of progression from the talent tree and stat gains felt pretty good. It seems like there's plenty of room for unique builds thanks to the discipline system. The gathering and crafting aspect of the game seems like it's heading in the right direction, and the general idea and premise of the game is unique and interesting, especially if you're a big fan of PvP and sieges like I am. It seems as though the mob spawn rate is too long and too sparse to support a reasonable amount of players on a single map. The user interface is a bit of a mess, shows a lot of unnecessary information and could use a complete redesign. Opening the UI freezes the game, the settings menu freezes the game for 3 seconds. The in-game map could use a complete redesign, it lacks functionality, doesn't display useful information and takes too long to load. Just give us a nice Nice, simple 2D map that's easy to read. Despite me liking the general direction of the combat, it still needs work. Make it feel more grounded, and spells need to be more impactful with enhanced audiovisual feedback. The world feels lifeless due to a lack of mobs, wildlife, lack of environmental assets, and a lack of mob diversity. The character customization is extremely lacking. The game is poorly optimized, frame rate isn't stable, and this is something that pretty much everyone I've spoke to about this game complains about. The looting could use some quality of life improvements, such as AoE looting, press F to loot all or something. The whole turning into a crow thing when you die seems kinda pointless, and is just an added annoyance more than anything. No jumping or interacting with NPCs whilst mounted is kind of annoying. And the game has this annoying stamina system for gathering that I just don't really see the point of. Overall, Crowfall has come a long way since the last time I covered it, and a somewhat playable game is finally starting to take shape. Despite me listing a lot of cons, this should be taken as constructive criticism that's completely fixable. I think the fundamentals for a good game are there, and I actually had a decent time playing this time around, but I'd like to see a more cohesive and lively world, with a better user interface so players can jump right into some epic large-scale faction PvP content upon hitting level 30. This kind of MMO also relies heavily on players to even be a playable game in the first place, so once the game is in a slightly better spot, it will need a big marketing push to bring in the initial player base that can then be built upon going forward. But that's it for this video guys, let me know your thoughts on Crowfall in the comments below. Do you see potential in this MMO? What changes would you like to see before you consider playing it yourself? 
Feel free to follow me on social media, links for that on screen, and check out my Instagram if you're interested in keeping up with my adventures of living in Thailand. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.